So I wanted to take the concept of making the machine like we did in the previous video a little bit further. Here I have our numbers again, and I'm going to say, okay, var result get stuff dot where uh, i i less than ten dot come on dot where i uh, let's do four less than or uh, yeah four less than i um, dot select i i times three uh, dot where <laughs> uh, I I mod uh, two equals zero, so basically where it's even. Dot select I I plus J A M I E. <laughs> but you can do this. I mean. Right, where where is an extension method on enumerable? So and where also returns i enumerable, so I can where on an i enumerable and just further keep going and select takes an i enumerable, it returns an i enumerable. So then I can further where on that and so on and so. Forth. Yes, this example is completely contrived. No, you should never write code like this at work. But I do think it it helps you understand a little bit more what the what's going on behind the scenes when you use link like this. So remember each one of these. Um, these iterator things, these i enumerable things, they return a new object. So let's go back to paint here and see if we can kind of draw what's going on. Um, I first have stuff. All right, so stuff. If I can just bring, yep, bring stuff right there, saving all the screen real estate I can. Um, stuff. Grab the pencil. Looks like stuff is an array, and it has four, thirteen. Eight, one, nine. Okay, and stuff's gonna send its data on to uh, the the first where here. Okay, so so let's grab this. And what does this where do? It sends it through a gauntlet i less than ten. And I'm gonna say where up top. Forgive my terrible writing. Uh, and then if this where sends its result onto this next where, okay, so open that up, and the gauntlet this where has is four less than i, and I'll just write where up here again, okay. But then this where sends its data onto the select here, and the select does a transform at times the value by three. So let's go like that and say i times three, and I'm going to say select right here. Then this select sends its data on to yet another where. This where right here, we'll say where, uh, where i is even. Okay, so I'll ju I'm just going to write even here. Because that's what mod two equals zero does for us, and then that where further sends it on to a, another select, which does a transform. That word transform sounds very technical and scary. It's not. It's just going to take each integer and uh, append Jamie at the end. So I plus J A M I E. Pretend that sends Jamie. Okay. Whew. Look at this machine we've built. All right, this is quite the assembly line. I mean, I feel bad for these numbers over here. They got to walk this, walk this uh, gauntlet, so to say. Well, there's three gauntlets: the wares, and then get transformed by the select. Oh, wow, what a pipeline! But that's what we've set up. Okay, so let's um, let's write a for each here. For each, actually, now let's do it. You know, actually, before we even do that, I said var here. I just kind of copped out and said var, but var really takes the return value or return type of this whole expression, which is determined by the very last select here. And it looks like this select takes an int and transforms it to a string. Okay, so we really have an i enumerable of string. If I can spell string right. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to say a i enumerator. I could do this with a for each, but the for each kind of hides the details, so let's just do it how it is. i enumerable of, i enumerator of int rater gets uh, gets result dot get enumerator. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna say raw radar dot move next. Console right line radar dot current. Okay. Woo! Now what's it complaining about? Oh I said int here when we're really enumerating over strings. Okay, good. So I still have up here, I still have from the previous videos the where and the select. So let's build this. Build succeeded. Okay, good. F10. Get the debugger going. I'm going to hit F11. And then notice I'm going to hit F11 on this. And again, pause the video. Think about what the output's going to be. I have these trace statements in here, the select and where. All right, so F11. All right, what's the output? It's nothing. Okay, because we haven't called move next on anything quite yet. All right. So now I'm going to say get numerator. The output is still nothing. All right, not until we say move next. I'm saying, when I say move next, you could pretend that uh, you and me are out here in Maine, right? And we say move next. All right, and what we're saying is, hey, Mr. Select Object here, give me some data. Well, in order for the select object to give us any data, it has to go, hey, where object, give me some data. Well, for the where object to give select any object, it has to go to its object and say, hey, select over here, give us some data, and so on and so forth. Give me some data, give me some data, give me some data, and there, then the array in the end says, okay, well, here's a four. All right, so watch, I'm, we're going to trace through this with F11. Okay, just see how this goes. F11, first we go to the select, all right, first thing we did was the select. Okay, select comes in here and says, okay, I need some data from items, which is going to jump over to the where, Okay, this where object right here, where it says, okay, well, I need some data, so I'm going to ask my items, my source, well, what is where's source? Where's source was the result from the select. Ah! Okay, so we jump back into select here. <laughs> this is a new instance of, or a new invocation of select. It's not the previous one we left to come over to the where. This is select again. Okay, so select says, well, I better, I need some data. All right, and it's going to go back to where, all right? So where comes over here and says, well, I need some data. But this where has a where in front of it. So we actually call that where. We're getting kind of deep here, I know. But which has to call its, uh, its array, all right? Finally, <laughs> finally we get a four, all right? Four. Whew. Wow, what a chain, all right? We're going to send four into the gauntlet of where. Well, what is that first where's? gauntlet. That first where's gauntlet is i less than 10. Right? So so this array says, okay, well, here you go. I'll send you a 4. Alright? F11. Alright? i less than 10. This where is sending it. 4 less than 10. Yes, that's true. So 4 survived this gauntlet. Right? 4 is less than 10. So the where says, okay, here you go. I'm going to send you over here. So then i over here becomes 4. Alright? We're done. We're done here, four past this test. Okay. So then this where says, okay, I'll send it through my gauntlet. Well, is four less than four? Well, no. Four is not less than four. That's false, actually. So then this where here, the four stops. Yeah, it got through this first gauntlet, but it, it got slapped in the second one. It didn't pass this test. All right. So this, this where here cannot send the four on. But select needs that for. It needs something. So the where has to turn back around and says, hey, Mr. Where over here, uh, give, tr try again. That, that, that for you sent me was no good. Okay? No good. All right? So, I, so right now, I know it's, kind of, it's a little confusing, but right now we're in this where right here. And it's going to ask this where for another item. So we jump back over. And you didn't see it in the debugger, but now... Now we're sitting in this where right here, and item item becomes 13, right? We pulled the 13 from the array. So now this, this where has 13, okay? Well, 13 gets sent to the gauntlet. Is 13 less than 10? No. Poor 13, didn't even survive very long, all right? Wah, wah, wah. 13's not less than 10. All right, so this where has to turn to its source and say, give me another one. All right, well, the array yields up 8. 8 gets sent to the gauntlet. 8 less than 10. All right, I'll draw 8 here. 8 came down the pipeline. We have 8 right here. Is 8 less than 10? Well, yes, it is. Okay, good. So it yields it up, right? So then, 
So here's eight. All right? Eight gets sent. It eight was sent from this first where over to the second where. Is eight is four less than eight? Here we go. Four less than eight. Well, yeah, that's true. Eight survived that gauntlet. Very good. Yield it. All right? Finally, this select over here. This select over here gets a number. All right? It gets eight. So I is eight here. Okay, so the select, watch, we're going to jump to select. When we yield this, we come back over to the select. All right, here's our 8. We're going to run the transform on the 8. What's the transform? The transform is multiply by 3. All right, multiply by 3. So what's 8 times 3? 8 times 3, I believe, last time I checked, it is 24. Okay, so we have 24. Now we're in this where, all right? Select transform the 8 into a 24. Whew! I see why I like recording my lectures. This is this is kind of exhausting, but hope, hopefully you're still with me. If not, I hope you're queuing the video back and forth. But okay, so now this where is going to check if it's even. All right. So here's the gauntlet for this where. 24 mod 2 is that equal to zero? Well, yeah, it is even. So this where yields it up. All right. So we're done with 24 in this where. It's going to send that 24 up to this select over here. If I can get the pencil tool. There's 24, and this select converts that 24 into a string and appends Jamie onto the end of it. 24 plus Jamie is is, is uh, 24 Jamie. In fact, let me pull up the uh, output window here. Notice we have the select, where, select. You can see the chain going on in here. But finally, when I hit F11, we yield that up, and we're back in main. Whew! Finally! Finally, right here, this is us. 24 J A M I E gets sent to us here in Maine. Raider current is 24 Jamie. What a workout. What a workout. There we go, 24 Jamie. Well, now us in Maine say we need a new item, and the whole thing continues on, and we're going to go all the way down, and one's going to get sent through the test. One is less than 10, but one's not greater than 4, so one will fail here. Right here, uh, 9 is less than 10. 9 is greater than 4. So 9 times 3 will be 27. So then we'll end up with a 27 here. 27 is not even. So then it actually, 27 gets nuked right there in the process. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me erase this. Okay, 27 is not even. Got pretty close, but no cigar. And then you notice here there's no more numbers. So, so then where... This will return false here, return false, return false, return false, return false. And then we will we'll end up with nothing in main and then main execute. So I kind of rushed through and jumped over those last two numbers, last few numbers just to kind of keep this video somewhat reasonably length. But you could, I, I, and I encourage you with all the code examples I do, code these out, step through them, trace through them, really understand them. It's one thing for me to understand it and explain it to you, but, but that really doesn't do you any good. What really does you good is to take what I'm doing, type it up, and then toy with it, twist it, try doing different things with it, that kind of thing. So so anyway, go ahead and do that. But hopefully you understand that we're building this machine here, a very interesting machine, very long machine, very contrived machine. But it's still a machine. It's just a, an assembly line of, of uh, iterators that take each item one by one and um, operate on them accordingly.